Hey guys, welcome to the course, Six Figure Private Tennis Coaching Online Free Course. Guys, I'm giving this course to all coaches out there. Um, we know what we're going through right now, and a lot of coaches need to really start thinking about uh, starting their own private tennis coaching businesses uh, as we, you know, recover from this thing that we're dealing with. So, this is gonna, I'm gonna go, go over five lessons with you guys here, and you want uh, a few things I want to tell you guys. You won't need that much money. That's the good thing about. Uh, getting started with your private tennis coaching business you will not need that much money and I know I've heard a lot of people say oh what time was you know I'm barely making or something like this look you really don't need that but you you're gonna have to put a lot of work you know that's for sure so go get a pen guys and um, I'm gonna upload this to YouTube too so you should be able to watch this over again again uh, on a playlist or something like that so go get a pen and a piece of paper and let's get rolling okay lesson one how to get started print up 5,000 flyers okay you can use cheap post postcards then prospect daily and do it all the time network more too you should be networking the stealth way don't be pushing or trying to sell anything stay focused on connecting and educating your prospects use the law of averages to grow your program in the next lesson we're going to get into your coaching funnel let's break each part of uh, this down a little bit more uh, clear for you guys like number one five thousand flyers it's not going to cost you that much at, at all or postcards now if you can do both do both for a number of reasons we want to be always at you know trying to have lead mag magnets coming into your program uh, you know from all angles right but here's the thing here guys prospect daily and when I want to talk about this guys think about the 30 day rule this is what I would do okay so write this down Try to make it a goal to meet at least, four, four, well, no, I take that back. Okay, let's say this for the next 30 days. Just focus on prospecting. Block out a, uh, a certain uh, time, preferably in the morning time. Okay, that's what I'm starting to do too. My, my golden hours, what I call for prospecting, are now, what is it? Yeah, six to seven. And that's all I do. I'm making this you know this course for you guys now but usually that's what I'm just and I just only started doing every now guys for about uh I want to say about three weeks but I'm seeing more you know how do you say more results from doing it so that's one thing you gotta think about block out a certain you know time you know preference in the daytime when nobody's up and just prospect like crazy whether it's sending emails follow-up emails uh you know just sales touches whatever guys just do it and do that along with, you know, passing out these flyers. Or get some high school kids to do it. You got a little free time anyway. Get them out there. I mean, right now, just get them out there. Cheap postcards, guys. Like I said, that's, that's nothing. Now, back down here to network stuff. Okay, what stuff means is this. You're being very strategic in the way you approach people. Okay, you of course, look, everybody's not going to be a prospect. That's cool. But they may know somebody who may want to join your tennis program. Okay. And, and and this is very important. So when I say stealth, think about how many times you have an opportunity to meet. Well, now it's, it's going to be kind of tricky too because they have some people to stay, what is it, six feet apart. But still it's the same, guys. Just be friendly. If you have to, lead them to your website. Now, you got to get creative since, you know, we may be dealing with this six uh, feet apart crap for a while. But still be be creative hey won't you guys go check out www fill in the blanks you know you know send them over there all right guys but just be creative in the way you deal with but remember stealth networking it's like the stealth fight no you don't want to be you know overt and you know pushy and, and, and pitching all the time but you want to focus on connecting now here's the magic here law of averages yes you should note that down because very few people don't know about this. But this is what they teach in sales a lot. The law of averages basically just says that if you meet a, uh, a certain amount of people daily, okay, like say 20 people, and then out of those 20 people you set two appointments, that's the average, right? So you know for every 20 people you can at least make two appointments. And if you get better at whatever, what, let's call it smart calling or contacting people, you could raise that average up to what? Six, seven, eight people, almost 50% uh, closing rate. So it, the, it, there's always a law of average, and you just, just got to think about that too. 
if, you, if your competitors are going to be contacting a certain amount of people, double the amount of people you contact every day or prospect to. That's all a lot. Law of averages, you know, very simple but very powerful. All right, guys, that's it for today. In the next one, like I said, we're going to talk about your coaching funnel. And today, you guys take care.